sa paggunita ng ikalimang daang taong anibersaryo ng Kristyanismo sa Pilipinas, ang pambansang dambana ng mahal na ina ng laging saklolo ay naitalaga bilang isa sa mga Jubilee Churches, Simbang Hubileyo, kung saan may Porta Santa o Jubilee Door. Sa mga makikibahagi ay ipagkakaloob ang plenary indulgence na ikinawad ni Papa Francisco. Ito ay natatanging biyaya ng pagpapatawad sa kaparusahan mula sa mga kasalanan. Kalapit nito ay ang pagsasagawa ng mga sumusunod. Ang Panguumpisal Ang pagtanggap ng banal na Eucharistia At ang pagdarasal para sa Santo Papa Ipanalangin din ang katapatan ng mga Pilipino bilang mananampalataya, pagdami ng may bukasyon sa pagpapari, hermano at madre, pagtataguyod ng pamilya. Magtapos sa ama namin, sumasampalataya at pagtawag kay Inay Maria. Sa pagpasok natin ng Porta Santa, Alalahanin at isapuso din natin ang hamon na maging masigasig na tagapagpalaganap ng Ebanghelyo. Ibahagi natin ang biyaya ng pananampalatayang ating natanggap bilang mga misunero, misunera ng nakilang pag-ibig ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves now for our celebration, we pause for a few moments to us personal forgiveness for our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You were seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant we pray that we may not be lost in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Hear these, you who trample upon the needy and destroy the poor of the land. When will the new moon be over, you ask, that we may sell our grain, and the Sabbath, that we may display the wheat. We will diminish the containers of measuring and to the weights and fix our scales for cheating. We will buy the lowly men for silver and the poor men for a fair of sandals. Even the refuse of the wheat we will sell. On that day, says the Lord God, I will make the sun set at midday and cover the earth with darkness in broad daylight. I will turn your peace into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. I will cover the loins of all with sackcloth and make every head bowed. I will make them mourn as for an only son and bring their day to a bitter end. Yes, days are coming, says the Lord God, when I will send famine upon the land, not a famine of bread or tears for water, but for hearing the word of the Lord. Then shall they wander from sea to sea and rove from the north to the east in search for the word of the Lord, but they shall not find it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. With all my heart I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. My soul is consumed with longings for your ordinances at all times. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. The way of truth I have chosen, I have set your ordinances before me. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Behold, I long for your precepts, and your justice give me life. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Please all rise. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all of you who labor and are burdened, and I will give rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the customs post. And he said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples.
The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard this and he said, those who are healthy do not need a doctor, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of the words, I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous, but sinners. And this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As Jesus passed by, he observed Matthew, the tax collector. The tax collectors were the employees of the Roman occupiers of the land of Judea. They were regarded by the people as sinful sinful because of their uh, lifestyle, sinful because of their activity as tax collectors. They were not paid a salary, but it was up to them to collect more than the tax which was due, and what was more they could keep for themselves. So this would be a type of salary. So you can imagine that they were often guilty of extorting payment from the people. So they were regarded as ruthless people and so in the eyes of the people they were public sinners. And if a person is identified as a public sinner then good people would avoid any association with such people. Now here in the gospel we find Jesus appearing on the scene. And as he passed down the street, he saw this man sitting on the seat of the tax collector. And he knew he was a tax collector. And so he said to him immediately, follow me. And what is extraordinary, perhaps for us, is that that man, having heard the invitation of Jesus, stood up and followed after him. When you followed after a teacher such as Jesus, you were publicly saying that you were anxious to learn more from this person. You were anxious to understand what it meant to be a disciple of this teacher of religion. So already there's a change taking place within this tax collector, this public sinner. His response to Jesus' invitation. And it seems that the tax collector then in turn invited Jesus to enter his house and to take a meal. Gospel tells us that Jesus goes to the tax collector to eat with him. And the word passed around very quickly and other tax collectors from the region, they hurried towards the house of Matthew in order to join him with this special guest, Jesus. So here we have a gathering of public sinners, a gathering of tax collectors. And lo and behold, Jesus is in the middle of them all. And the Pharisees, those who regarded themselves as the religious people, those who regarded themselves as the teachers of religion. They saw all of this and they were scandalized. And they said to the disciples, 
what is the meaning of this? Your master is sitting with public sinners. He's been contaminated by his association with these people. Strong condemnation from the religious authorities at the behavior of Jesus. Jesus heard what they said to his disciples and he replied to them, the Pharisees, healthy people do not need a doctor. Only the sick need a doctor. So draw your own conclusions. These people that I am now sitting with and eating with, they are the sick. They are the ones in need of healing. And I am a doctor. I have come to them as a doctor, as one to heal them. Healthy people, he said to the Pharisees, do not need a doctor, only the ones who are sick. I desire mercy. I desire mercy. And he desires from each one of us that we be merciful to one another. Jesus desired mercy. He desires all of his followers. He desires that you and I also be people of mercy. It is so easy for us to look down on somebody and say, that person is such and such. That person is unworthy of my association or whatever. And when we go into those ways, we will hear the words of Jesus within us. I desire mercy. Do not discriminate against one another. Nobody is perfect. There is no one perfect in the eyes of God. And thank God that Jesus desires to show mercy. And that is what he expects also of you and I in our relationship with one another. It is precisely the ones who are sick, Jesus said, that I have come to seek. Jesus on another occasion said, I am the good shepherd. Today he is saying, I am a doctor, a healer. If you think it's that you are not lost sometimes, then you do not need a good shepherd. If you think that you are perfectly spiritually healthy, then you do not need a doctor. You do not need Jesus. But deep down, we do know that we need a good shepherd to look for us when we stray and get lost. A good shepherd who will lead us into good places. We know that we need a healer, somebody who will help us in our struggle against our spiritual sicknesses, the sickness of sin. We need Jesus. So that is the message of the gospel today. I desire mercy, Jesus said, and to the, gospel, uh, to the listeners he said, go and seek to understand what I am saying. I desire mercy. And that means I desire that you also be merciful to one another.
prayer of the faithful. <clears throat> Christ came to call sinners, offering them salvation. With humility of spirit <clears throat> and aware of his call, let us bring our prayers to the Father. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may be seen as the healing home of the weak and the sinful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who hold public office may be honest and faithful to their duties. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our, prayer. our prayer. For all of us, we may never lose faith and hope amidst this COVID-19 pandemic and find strength to express social solidarity with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. That the dead may experience the saving power of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, prayer. our prayer. For those who offered Masses to be celebrated in the National Shrine of Our Mother of Perpetual Health, may God answer their petitions and hear their thanksgiving. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. Father, with the faith of Abraham who followed your call, your Christian people bring their prayers to you. <laughs> Grant what you inspire us to ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, <clears throat> for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we now offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Now let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplish the effects of your mysteries, grant we pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we acknowledge with living faith. And his coming in glory we wait with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, <clears throat> giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to serve you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of love together with Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray now with confidence to the Father in the words that Jesus has taught us. Our Father, who art, who art in, heaven, in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be, thy be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come. Thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it, as is, it in is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us, us this day our daily, our daily bread. bread. And, and forgive, forgive us, us our, our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive those who trespass, trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, us from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. 
Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer now to one another the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called now to take and eat. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, you, that should you should enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only, only say, say the word, word and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed.
May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, so that bound to you in lasting love we may bear fruit that lasts forever. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go now thanking the Lord. Thanks be, be to, God. to God.